Andrew's character, Dennis, having to grapple with the notion that he may surrender some part of himself in order to accomplish something uh, to his benefit, you know. I mean, we're all, we're all constantly figuring out how to negotiate this world that's tremendously unfair and can be very brutal, you know. And I think for Rick, what he does is is part of a, a system that's larger than him and that would exist whether he was involved in it or not. And he's just basically trying to take advantage of the situation as best he can. I think Rick and Dennis's background are very similar. I, I, I don't, Rick did not grow up in a privileged uh, environment. Uh, I mean, he even says as much in the film that his father struggled to get by and ultimately had an accident and wasn't able to work. And so I think that's why Rick understands so well the, the nature of the system because he's, he's been on, on both sides of it. You know. uh, I don't think Rick necessarily maybe even had that much education or much more than, than Dennis did. I just think he... Uh, he just, he probably started out at the bottom and worked his way up and, um, and just figured out how the system, you know, works. Andrew's incredibly hardworking, devoted actor, um, took the job very, very seriously and I was very impressed with how hard he, he worked. It's, it's uncommon to see somebody that devoted to something. He never seems satisfied. He always wants more and to get uh, bigger and bigger opportunities and expand his business. Um, I guess, you know, there's a, there's a rush to that for for certain people. I think home usually for me is much more about the, the people that you share it with than the actual structure. And I think that's one of the beautiful things in the movie is when Andrew realizes even though he's getting these opportunities to have a nicer home, a nicer place to live, more money, that it's not really worth it if he loses his family in the process. So I, I think as long as you have the people that you love close by, it doesn't really matter, you know, where you are. I'd say Ramin's probably one of my favorite directors I've worked with. Um, the depth of the, the work that he does before the movie even starts, uh, the amount of research he does, and uh, in terms of his writing, how th uh, rigorous he is with his writing. Um, you know, he's very hard on himself, and um, he wants everything to be perfect. He's a, he's a perfectionist. And uh, he's also, he takes a lot of risks. wanted it to be one shot, you know, no, no coverage and, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very exciting shot. It moves and it goes through the house and out into the yard and, and it was very challenging for me as an actor to, to try and get through that entire scene and just that one shot and feel like every moment was, you know, as, as much as it could be.